Hi, I'm Crystal Carson, and we are at EU Cannabis Week, and this is Financial Buzz. We're here today with David from Cardio Therapeutics. Now, David, you guys are doing something a bit different than the standard cannabis and CBD companies. You're actually already moved into synthetics and using synthetics to provide um, different medications for heart disease. Is that correct? Sure. So we've worked in the area of heart failure medicine for coming on about 25 years now. Um, what's interesting about CBD or cannabidiol to our company is that it is a truly cardioprotective molecule and we decided many years ago to make that molecule pharmaceutically or through chemical synthesis so we can ensure its purity and its access uh, in terms of cost effectiveness and production capability so we can ultimately offer this important new medicine to consumers around the world that ultimately are looking for a safe, pure medicine. Yeah, and that's interesting that you should say that because, I mean, on uh, on the side of the business and the investment side, having that consistency and being able to manage those costs, I know that there's lots of fluctuations in the market right now. What are the benefits of the synthetic on that side, I mean, from a business perspective and cost savings? Well, history has shown us that in order to make any new medicine uh, truly accessible to um, uh, patients around the world uh, and to make it cost effectively and consistently you need to make it pharmaceutically or through chemical synthesis. Just one of many examples is aspirin. Aspirin was ultimately discovered uh, in the bark of the willow tree and it was chemically synthesized many years ago and that's why it's widely available today. So we've basically done the same with uh, CBD. Uh, we make we have uh, two global pharmaceutical partners. We make this on mass scale and ultimately we are developing this not only for the uh, multi-billion dollar market for pharmaceutical CBD or CBD today, we also see expanding that market into an area that we have a speciality in which is heart disease or heart failure which is the leading cause of death and disability in the Western world today. Wow, okay. And you're here at EU Cannabis Week. What are you um, looking to uh, the EU market for? Like, what, are, what is your strategy coming into this? Well, as uh, many may be aware, the first FDA CBD approved was for uh, epilepsy. Uh, that was using the United States Food and Drug or the United States Orphan Drug Program. That basically allows for an accelerated approval and market exclusivity for companies that develop new medicines for important underserved medical markets. We have just last week announced a landmark program in acute myocarditis, which importantly is the leading cause of sudden cardiac death in people the, under the age of 35 years of age. Very important area of medicine and we'll be involving uh, a major center here in Europe in that trial together with the major cardiac centers in the United States and Canada. Wow, that's incredible. It's amazing to be able to take what we know from the North American markets and help expedite the process for everybody over here. And have you seen anything really interesting as you've been attending? Have you seen anything over here that you think we may take back across the pond? I mean, the European Union is obviously a very important market uh, for Cardiol and many companies. Um, we have a primary focus on developing uh, an innovative treatment for heart disease. Heart disease really has no home. It doesn't discriminate. Um, it is an international problem and heart failure is really an epidemic driven by diabetes, obesity and high blood pressure worldwide. So we look forward to improving the standard of care in that important area of medicine and in, in uh, parallel with that we look forward to commercializing the purest, safest form of CBD at mass scale with our pharmaceutical partners through pharmacy distribution networks uh, internationally. It's amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and congratulations. Yeah.